So I'm gonna do something today that none of you Ooh. would expect from me. And no, it's not give you more advice on your fire stick. Yes, the device I spend so much time shitting on that all of you love so much. I'm actually gonna do a tutorial on it today. So I'm gonna show you how to use a mouse toggle on any Google TV device. And in this case, we're doing the ONN box and stick. So this will quickly allow you to activate a mouse on screen that looks a lot like this, which allows you to access certain areas and apps that maybe aren't optimized for your device. And some people just like using a mouse and it's fully controllable through your D-pad and your OK button and fully customizable. Now really quick, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and let's get into today's tutorial. All right, now if you get lost at any point during this tutorial, I do have chapters linked in the video so you can skip ahead or move back to whatever parts you may have missed. I'm on my brand new ONN 4K box. It's the one that came out this year. Uh, if you have a different version, then it doesn't matter. It's going to work the same for pretty much any Google TV device and basically any Android TV device. Okay, let's get into it. So there's a few things we need to do to get started. We're going to head over to settings and you can see the little setting tab at the top here. The first thing we want to do is activate developers mode. Now, I actually don't think you need this uh, for this device, but we're going to do it anyways because I haven't tested it without. So we head over to uh, system. And then you want to head to the about section and you want to scroll down until you find Android TV OS build. Click that five times until it says you're a developer. I already am one. So easy. Now we're going to head back and developers options will now be available inside of systems. Again, I don't think we actually have to touch anything there. So let's just leave it alone. Okay, now we want to head over to our search bar at the top here. And this allows us to basically search for apps or any other information. And we're just going to type in downloader. Now, this is basically just a browser. Uh, it recently got re-added to the Google Play Store slash Android Store. Um, and that was due to a DMCA claim, but they won it. So load it in. Uh, downloader will pop up here. And it's by AFTV News, the orange one. You can't miss it. Go ahead and install this and we'll move on to the next step. Okay, so go ahead and open it up. If you're on Nvidia Shield, it might require you to install an add-on, but for the most part, it should be fine. Now I've created a code to get to my download section a little bit quicker. So you're gonna wanna type in 773 and then 820. This is just a shortcut URL. So it's just the same as typing in my URL. Click on that. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go to the three lines in the top right corner. You can see I have it highlighted now. Click on that and then you can click add current page to favorites. And this way you always have a shortcut to get back to my download section anytime you need to grab anything. Everything on here is completely legal and okay to have on your device. So there's no illegal apps on my download section whatsoever. Now scroll down till you find the Android TV section and you'll found, find mouse toggle for Google TV. This is the one you want. There's another mouse toggle on here, but you want this one specifically. Click on it. If you're watching this video a little bit later, it'll bring you to another page where you have to click a download button. In this video, it'll pop up right away. Now, what we have to do is click on settings here and we basically have to prompt downloader to allow uh, installs from unknown apps. You can go ahead and check this. This is perfectly safe as long as you're using from the location that I'm installing from. You can then go ahead and click install. And for me, it says update because I already have it installed, but yours will just install. So there's no difference. Okay, now before we open it up, there's actually a few more things we need to do. So go ahead and click your home button and let's go to the settings section one more time. Now we're going to want to head over to our apps and scroll down until we find uh, special app access. And then you're going to want to scroll down until you spot find display over other apps. And you want to make sure your MATVT mouse for Android TV is toggled on. If it's toggled off, this app won't work. So make sure you do that before you go any further. Now we want to back all the way out of the settings menu until we get to that main four screens here. So this section right here, we want to click on accessibility. Now from here, we want to go ahead and go to scroll down until you find mouse toggle service. Make sure that is enabled on as well. You can see mine are as already because I've done it for this uh, app already. So we're gonna go ahead and back out. Now we can go into our app section. Mine will be in my favorites or my uh, recently accessed. Yours, you may have to go to your app section and it's right here, M-A-T-V-T mouse. 
So now there's a few things I want to go over here. Uh, we are now inside. Again, the developer of this has made this free for everybody. So if anybody's selling it to you, that's a scam. So you gotta you can get it officially from his uh, repo or from here. Now, mouse size, you can customize. This is how big of a mouse pops up on your screen. I usually just go with the lightest one. Uh, from here, you can pick your scroll speed. So how fast it moves, I usually go mid. Mouse icon can be light, dark, orb, hand. I like the hand one personally, but you can customize that. And then I like to go will to boss key toggle. Yes, so this basically turns it on and off. And for your ONN device, uh, it is your mute button. So we're gonna save all this. Now we can exit out. Now watch as I press our mute button right here and that mouse pops up on screen and I can move it with my D-pad. And that's really it. Customize the toggle speed to whatever you want and you can really use this to the best of your abilities. It's a great little uh, thing to have. It works and you can move around inside of apps and access areas uh, you probably weren't able to access before. So before we take off today, if you guys want something that's going to protect you and also help to support the channel, a great way to do that is to purchase a VPN uh, from my link down below in the description. You get 30 day money back guarantee plus three months free with my link. It brings you to this page. If you don't like it within 30 days, cancel it. You get your full money back. But remember, this helps to protect you while you're online by basically funneling your IP address through the VPN servers. That way, even your internet service provider can't see what you're doing. Plus, you're able to unlock things such as Netflix and other subscription services you already pay for. The link is right here, guys. It's a great way to support me as well. So if you like the content that I make, even just purchasing this and canceling it helps to support the channel. And I would appreciate that a lot. So check that out down below in the description if you guys wanna support me. So thank you guys so much for watching. You guys are awesome. Hit that subscribe button. See, see you later. Bye, guys.